it seems to me that inventing the enemy could also be called needing the enemy. Needing and inventing and uh, uh, inventing is the English title, isn't it, Geoff? Uh, because uh, the Italian title of Costui is building up how to construct step by step uh, the enemy. Uh, we need uh, an enemy. Why? Why do we need enemies? For reinforcing our own identity. I tell you the story by, with which I opened the essay you are kindly quoting. I was in New York, I was talking with the taxi driver. I always talk with the taxi driver because they give you the, 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 the temperature, uh, the general uh, temperature. And he was a Pakistani and he was asking me, where you do come from? I said, Italy. Ah, where is Italy? In Europe. Ah, the, what kind of language are they? English? No, no, we don't speak English. Ah, that's curious. But, uh, and at a certain point he asked, uh, what is your enemy? I said, what, what do you mean? No, the, the enemy you have since centuries and centuries you are fighting against. Uh, you are killing him and they are killing you. Your, your eternal enemies. And I said, we, we, don't have an en we don't have a fixed uh, enemy for, in the 19th century, for half a century, we had Austria, but then finished. Uh, by the way, we, we, we started the, the last uh, world war with one enemy, and we ended it with another one. So, uh, 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 we don't have enemies. And he looked at me as I was really emasculated, and uh, our people was uh, well, uh, people without uh, without any form of virility, and so on and so forth. Well, by the way, so, uh, what the French call uh, l'esprit d'escalier, I reflecting afterwards, I, I realized, you no, know, we, we have an enemy. Sim simply, the other people have an enemy outside the border lines. We have an enemy inside the border lines. The, for 2,000 years, the Italian cities were fighting uh, each other. And even now, the Italian opposition was unable to, to win Berlusconi because they were fighting uh, um, against uh, each other. Uh, Berlusconi fell down by his personal virtue, not because of the virtue of the opposition. Uh, but that is another, uh, is another story. Uh, every, uh, every power had, in order to keep its people united, to invent somebody which was other, autre. In French, it sounds better with the capital A. Other and different. Even though slightly uh, different, but different. And then, like uh, the Prague Cemetery, even the image of the enemy follows certain fixed uh, uh, features. And it has a pattern. <laughs> Can you both, no, we, we have to confess the secret. No. No, no, no. Can you both please address the audience as they cannot hear when you look at uh, Okay. When you, uh, <laughs> my my no, dear no, audience. No. They, they, they basically, my dear audience. Um, you know, basically, um, I, I have a feeling they don't like it when we look at each other. So um, I kind of like looking at you, but um, the people at Intelligence Square would prefer that we refrain. So okay, um, they, 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 we, we will, don't look at don't look at me. Give it <laughs> okay. So. Um, this is a, a form of enemy. I can't is look it? at you. Where, no, where uh, from, no, what, what I was saying that, uh, was that from the beginning, uh, one of the first uh, pattern of the figure of the enemy is in the early years of Christianity, the Antichrist. It is a curly ears, big nose, uh, strange f feet. That's a, but uh, fundamentally, it stinks. And the same pattern is used that during the centuries uh, to, to, def to represent uh, the Muslim enemy, uh, the heretic uh, enemy, uh, the Jewish enemy. So always the same uh, pattern to make the enemy archety archetypically repugnant, huh? such that uh, 
uh, in every case you have to refuse it uh, in the sense in which uh, Darwin demonstrated that uh, the face movements in order to express disgust are all the same in every uh, civilization. Uh, certain movement of the, of the mouth, uh, the, of the nose, uh, and so and so forth. So in every civilization there was a, a, a construction of the figure of the, of the enemy. That's all in this essay. Well, I, this essay, I put down, down yeah. certain quotations of different kinds of enemies. Everybody um, from Sartre to, to James Bond, you have Ian, a fantastic yes. passage. Yes. Uh, you're a big reader of, of uh, Ian Fleming. Yes, I always I also wrote an essay on, uh, on the novels of uh, Fleming, not on the movies, on the, on the novels of Fleming. Yes, and J J Fleming is exceptional because he has the Russian enemy, the, the German enemy, then uh, the Chinese, Dr. No, the Chinese enemy. He has a good collection until the international one, which is bluffed, who is bluffed. Uh, of it, of a, but another, another feature of the enemy in uh, Fleming, it is that it's always of uncertain nationality. He's always a Shifting. mixture, never a pure Englishman. So always a metek, only the effect of some blood mixture. Here in this essay, you, you, you spell it out very clearly. You say trying to understand other people means destroying the stereotype without denying or ignoring the otherness. In the Prague Cemetery, you have... Sorry if I turn my, my head because no, I have no. to listen. No, no, no say, but say. It, it's true. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for reminding me. In the Prague Cemetery... No, tell it to me. Otherwise, I don't understand. No. no. It's not natural. It's not natural. It's it strange, doesn't sound yeah. natural. Huh? It doesn't sound no, no, natural. Tell, tell me. So, it, yeah. Uh, In the Prague uh, Cemetery, you have told us a story with every character being absolutely real in history except for one. That character is haunting, Simonini, and you have constructed in him, I must say, probably what you wanted to construct, namely, I mean, construct in merely in terms of invention. I mean, it is your invention. You have invented the vilest, ugliest, most horrendous, most disgusting, most despicable human being. Thank you. You're very well. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, was, that was my, my yeah, purpose. But, but, but and why? Why give us the depiction of somebody quite as ugly but, as uh, he is? Simonini is fundamentally a forger, but also a, a murderer. And, and fundamentally a racist. And in the opening pages, he pronounces horrible judgments, not only against the Jews, but against the German, the, the, the French, the, the Italians, the women. Uh, and, he, he, and he uses such a horrible material, such horrible cliché, that in a way I was uh, uh, preoccupied that some reader could identify uh, him, herself, with him. So to keep the reader distant, and probably also myself distant, I had to, to make him as repugnant as you, as you said. Then, once taking this decision, there was also the sincere pleasure of the narrator to, to, to invent a character like this uh, to make him the, 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 the most uh, immoral uh, person uh, because you, you know the story. He has the, the right patterns and he, he decides if you sell them to, to, to the Freemasons against the Jesuits or to the Jesuits against the Freemasons or to a certain point he discovers that anti-Semitism 
is more rentable uh, in that historical moment than uh, the concocts, the uh, protocols of the elders of Sion, and he is participated to the Dreyfus uh, affair, and he makes uh, many other, many other. It was an invented character because, uh, for narrative reasons, otherwise I would have written another academic book on that uh, story, I, I, I had to attribute to the same uh, person the deeds of many, of many authors, so I had to invent it. But uh, I insist in, in saying that it is the truest, the truest one of the, of the old novel, uh, because in, in telling the story I had continuously the impression of speaking of somebody that was living around me. Uh, the world is full of uh, Simoninis. And so I was telling a story of the 19th century, but uh, well, it's, uh, I would like my reader to go around with uh, this novel like a Bedecker uh, visiting the world and say, oh, look, one Simonini, look, another Simonini. In every country, you can do that with a certain probability of success. <laughs>